morning, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to talk to you about the center post two, not the center post one, as we do not make or manufacture any components for the center post one. How do you know if you have a center post one? If you don't have this latch assembly, you have a center post one or earlier. This is a center post two. Now, I'm going to have me some coffee right now. I suggest you get some because this is really, really hard stuff you're about to do. It drives me bananas, it's gonna drive you bananas. <clears throat> All right, here's what you need to do this task. The tools that you're gonna need, again, is Loctite 242. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna need the 532nd Allen wrench again. And this time, you need a 3 30 second Allen wrench to access that set screw and the, other, the one on the other side of it. That's all you need, so it's easy. First thing you're gonna do, you need your center post two. You're gonna remove the monitor arm spacer. Just kinda pinch it up like that. We're gonna be accessing that set screw <clears throat> with the 3 30 second Allen wrench. We're going to pull him out. Now, if yours has been in there for 10 or 15 years with all your sweat and salt and you never cleaned it, and there are those of you out there, you know who you are, you're going to blow out this hole because Lord knows what's in there. You're going to take your set screw, going to put a little bit of Loctite on it, and put your set screw back in. But this time, I want you to loosen your clamp so that you can feel some play in there. You want to tighten this set screw until it stops. Now, if your threads are dirty in there because it's got all your sweat and the funk in there, you're going to have to plow through that, get it down to where it's tight, then back it off just a hair until you can move the set, your center post, the inner post in there but you don't want any side to side play and you don't want it too tight. That's pretty good right there. There we go. We have no side to side play on the inner post and the outer post. What you want to do with the clamp can, remaining open, flip it over. There's another little guy right there. You want to back him out. This one's got a lot of Loctite lock tight on it. Remember to blow out your hole. You can use a duster, I just do it this way. Put a little Loctite on there. And insert your set screw. Make sure that clamp is open so that you can feel the play in there. Because if it's shut, you didn't no play, right? Take your set screw down until it stops. Do not wrench on this thing just till it stops. <clears throat> there we go. Now I want to back it off till I can move my center post freely and have no play in there. That's it. Now I want to talk about clamp pressure. Clamp pressure. This is a clamp assembly. It's actually a strap clamp. In all reality, have you ever put an oil filter on? Same kind of principle. It has to be tight. I have customers come in and say, Jack, my center post is moving when I whip pan. What's wrong? Something's broken. Or my VZ does the same thing. It's because I can open up the clamp with one finger. You need to tighten your clamp, tighten that bolt with your 532nd wrench. If this clamp is easy to open, then you're doing it wrong. It's got to be tighter than that. I want you to make an O oh sound when you have to open it. You know, uh, that's what it needs to sound like. It's not an easy operation. You have to get some pressure on that thing. That will take out the play when you whip pan. So make sure that clamp's tight. Make sure there's no play between this set screw, this set screw, and the inner post. The next thing we're going to talk about are these little radial screws. <clears throat> And these little radial screws. This is the inner post. This is the outer post. 
This, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. And this little thing goes in here. <laughs> if you get play in this position right here, you can do it with the donkey box on, with your upper junction box on, whatever. You need to make sure that all of these screws are tight. There are nine of them, not six, not seven. There are nine. Same on this end. There are nine set screws, so you need to tighten nine screws. If you do that, you'll keep the play out of this point, and you'll keep the play out of this point. That is all the maintenance for the center post two. Don't forget to put your monitor arm spacer back on your inner post. That's it for the center post too, guys.